Hey, it's Danosaw, grenade style. <laughs> Welcome back, episode 12. Uh, one more to go after this, but um, it's Jersey Shore season two. But with a recap of what's happening, uh, Vinny on the, with a recap, on the, and with the Vinny Mike robbery thing here, which probably says I'd never steal from Vinny, but I don't get what's going on with Mike. Mike was in a bad mood, but anyway, Mike was fighting with Snooki, recaps that briefly, and how she's Mike's a douchebag and all that. And she she's mad that Mike is ruining her time with a writer on that. And Vinny is actually giving the tour to Ramona with the club with the house and everything, and she says she's not DTF girl, but if something happens, they were attract to each other. Well, yeah, yeah, very smooth, Vinny. We all knew what was going to happen. Mike actually the next morning apologized to Snooky. He said he was in a bad mood. He, for some reason, he was upset. Now he had a whole wad of cash that he came in with her. If you see the video, and all of a sudden the cash is gone. He, he literally, when he was apologizing to her, he had a whole lot of cash in, on top of her, but then when he walked away, all of a sudden the cash was missing. So, I wonder what happened there. <laughs> I think it was a parting or olive branch, so to speak, on that, and, she, and that way she and her writer could go out and have a good time on that. So now Snooki's very happy that Mike apologized, and... Uh, they go out and have a good time. Now she's also met very sad because Ryder is leaving today and it's she reminds her of home and they have this funny grunting where uh, this is what I talk about here if you see episode 12 when Ryder and Snooki are kind of grunting in the interview booth where it's like they're leaving and rolls, someone in the background will Snooki and say like, ah! <laughs> it's kind of funny actually <laughs> and so check it out it's really funny it's almost worth doing a gif ah! <laughs> so, so anyway, that's cool there. And GTL, uh, it's going to be Mike and Polly in with es Escalade parking where Mike will park anywhere. But we go back to Jenny and Snooky, and Jen uh, Jenny and S uh, Snooky are talking, and they're going to say you're going to forget about him because we're going to space today. Space, according to Snooky's world, is hot, juice head guys, and tons of dancing and drinking. Well, I figure there's going to be the, uh, those guys there. There's going to be hot, gorgeous women there, too. So, hey, cool. So, anyway, they're going to the club and just having a good time and having fun. And Nicole Snooky gets into this argument with some, I don't know, Grant, your name, Landmine. I don't know what even what the argument was. And Snooky was drunk, okay. And Snooky said, come on, bring it, bring it. And she wouldn't. The guys kept pulling hair. And then what happened was Snooky's fighting. So, word gets out of this. And Mike and Bali come down and are like, what the heck? You guys got something to say on that to Snooki? And uh, it, for one minute, she's pissed at Mike. Next, Mike's down there defending her. They're saying, like, here. Now, JY was kind of making fun of this to say, of course, Mike sees a guy half his size. I'll whoop his ass. And now he's all of a sudden Mr. Tough Guy. On that. <laughs> That's JY's attitude. But anyway, these guys were just idiots. They're like, oh, leave. We're leaving here. And Mike's like, bring your bitch with you. Because. We don't want to hear because Mike was mad because whatever what was going on with Snooky. But what ends up happening is they get kicked out uh, of space. And Ronnie and Sammy were just doing their own thing. had nothing to do with it. And they got to leave with them too. And they're like, this is such crap. We had nothing to do with this. Why are we getting kicked out too? But, it, you know, it's all for one, one for all. One of you going to get kicked out, all you going to get kicked out. So that, so... So as they're getting kicked out, Polly brings two girls that are DTF on that, and he says uh, one of them, they're they're okay, they're not that great, but you know, in in the words of famous marketers, would you rather have something of nothing or nothing of nothing? So it kind of goes that way if you think about it. It's better to have something than nothing on that, even if it's at a discount. So so anyway, he brings two girls back here to DTF. And the girls are playing around on that, and then the girls saying they don't want to hook up. Now, Polly, uh, they had this issue with this before here, and Mike kicks the other girl out. Says, you are wasting my time, you know, whatever, get out of here. Now, on a Mike's perception, he only had a week and a half there. He doesn't want to waste time, you don't want to waste money. If you're not going to do it, what he wants, you know, he'll mess. He wanted to have sex. If you're not going to do it, you're wasting his time. 
he owned it here. And there is some a little here that probably had a point was is Mike is in his ego was not willing to take one for the team on that, which I get it. Um, Mike's in because what happens was it is taking one with the team. If you take one for the team, then the team expects you to take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not really just take one for the team on that because then the team will take one for you. It's not like that. Oftentimes in that situation, you're taking several because you're called a blocker. Uh, believe me, I had that ability too, but with my blocking, it, it was mixed with repulsiveness. I blocked, they ran. <laughs> so I had my own strengths of that, but uh, I was fun too. But anyway, so anyway, they don't want to kick up. Um, Molly's girl bails as well, and girls leave here, and Vinny Ramona, and uh, Paul show. Oh, I'm sorry. I was incorrect. On the last episode, I said they went to the beach. In this episode, they went to the beach. So Vinny, Ramona, Paulie Rochelle, and Ronnie and Sam all go to the beach. Kind of a couple group thing, which was fun. It was cool. They said they had fun. Uh, Vinny and his girl, Paulie and his girl, and Ronnie and Sam saw they were wifing up their girls, and it was pretty fun here. And Ronnie and Sam we were walking out in the hot tub, and then they're coming in. They're like, "Ooh, make it on the hot tub." And then, so Mike's making dinner, and the fire alarm goes off, and all these firemen show up on that. Now, of course, this is Jenny's and Snooky's dream, and they, and they said these guys were prime A men. They show up, and they're like <laughs> buff, everything. You know, these guys were men of men, and they're like, oh my, I, I should have just had a fire. I shouldn't have gone out to the clubs. <laughs> And then and Stookie didn't even see the fire. She came out, saw the fireman, and she's like, whoa. And she's like, yeah, I definitely smushed that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I uh, could say the guy is probably, I don't know what, 10, 12 years or her senior, but he was pretty buff. I mean, he was more buff than actually Mike or the other guys. He was really buff on that. But anyway, the firemen come, they put out the fire. It's a big misunderstanding. and. And uh, they say, anytime you're cooking dinner in Miami, the fire department shows up, that's cool. That means you're doing something right. And Snooki would like to smash the fireman. <laughs> so anyway, Sammy and Ronnie um, uh, get into an argument over Ronnie saying uh, Sammy looks Asian. Now, why the hell would you tell your girlfriend she looks anything I'm sorry I'm getting the music started anything different than what she is why you're just asking for it get think about it you could say she looks hot but hot's big on that you could have say whatever you say yeah you're hot well that's big you say well if you have a Spanish girl you look Spanish but then you could say I have a Spanish girl mixed with Filipino but she um and she may look more Filipino than Spanish, but let's say she was more Spanish just because, um, like how her face looks, and you say she's Filipino, and she gets mad on that, on that. So, but see, in this case, Ronnie knew what she was, and should have just complicated what she was and been done with it. It's one thing if you didn't know on that, and you said, "Really? No, I'm this." Oh, okay. Well, now you know. Okay, but then uh, he says, well, you look more Asian. Now, how the frick do you make that analogy? You know, that Sammy looks Asian. Okay, I've seen Asian, uh, many of Asian girls. I've seen ugly ones, and I've seen beautiful ones. And Sammy does not look Asian. I'm sorry. I am absolutely sorry in that. She does not look Asian. I would say European, Italian, Spanish, on that something. Not Asian. Sorry. Big sorry. I mean, in some ways, you could say some of the beautiful Spanish women here have similarity to Polynesian Asian women. On that, but Sammy Asian? No. I don't know what it was. And it, it really said because Ronnie's ex-girlfriend was Asian too, which now we know a little more of the story because Ronnie is thinking about his ex as well. Big mistake on that one. You don't bring up. I learned that. I don't even have a girlfriend. You don't bring up anything with your ex. Unless you're married and you have two kids, and then you can talk about it because you're pretty safe at that point. But other than that, no, you do not bring that stuff up. On that, unless it's completely consequential to an argument. 
on them. So anyway, they get into this fight over this, and Ronnie is like uh, saying like, I'm this, and you know they said Angelina was bipolar, and I'm really thinking. Um, Sammy and Ronnie are both bipolar because one minute they're this and the next minute they're this and then Ronnie's got this Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing but so does Sammy because it's weird it's really bizarre but that's probably what makes it work with them it's very weird on that but anyway uh, <laughs> Ronnie brushes it off and just like whatever you're just overreacting on that then uh <laughs> Snooky, Jenny, and Vinny got this thing about doing a hookup board about who slept with who in the whole time and everything and they found out that everybody at some point swapped spit. <laughs> Not directly, but just by intercourse. It was just kind of funny. It's like, if you think about it, it made Snooky says like, this is making me sound like a complete whore. <laughs> and she's not, but it was really funny. On the, but anyway, um, with the hooker board, Mike and Vinny, um, I'm sorry, uh, Mike and, yeah, it's Mike and Vinny are out doing GTL stuff. Mike part somewhere, no, it's Polly. Mike, Polly, and then, and the Escalade gets towed. So Mike doesn't even have a cell phone. How the frick do you not have a cell phone? And you actually had to find a pay phone to call these people? Alright, so they told him it's $175. He came back to pay. What I'm saying is the man's wearing hundred plus dollar shirts, probably hundred dollar plus jeans, and you don't have a cell phone, you don't even have, I don't know, uh, prepaid T-Mobile, something? Nothing? I'm not buying it, sorry. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And that they go to a pay phone to call, okay. Okay, now I with my situation, let's see, I say, damn it, my cell phone's out of battery. Ah, okay, well, that happens. All right, so they pick up the Escalade, and they go to Tantra, on that, which is another club here, and they found these two blondes uh, from that, or just, I don't know, Playboy Barbie blow-up dolls. They, were, ugh, they weren't my thing. And, that, and there were grenades from the club, and but there was nothing there. And girls were kind of playing games with uh, Polly and Mike when they brought them back for DTF. And then... And then uh, what happened was, is that the girl's like, oh, I'm not going to hook up. And Paul's like, oh man, deja vu all over again. And he's like, I'm going to talk to this situation about taking one for the team. Because his girl was ready to go, but Mike's girl isn't. And then Mike just really stepped up and said, you got to go. I'm going to sleep, you got to go. And, then, and it was, wow. It's, it's like... Aaron, Polly was really kind of mad at him, saying, like, look, you gotta take one of the team sometimes, and this is just kind of nonsense. And it just kind of left it at that, and that's how it kind of cool the girls, but Mike kicks them out, and that was that. So, what we have left is one more episode, basically the closure of the whole thing, and uh, see kind of where everybody went. Um, and then uh, we can finish it off. Alright, thank you.